A solid steel rod S is placed inside a copper pipe C having the same length. The coefficient of thermal expansion of copper is larger than the coefficient of steel. After being assembled, the cylinder and the tube are compressed between two rigid plates by forces P. Obtain a formula for the increase in temperature that will cause all of the load to be carried by the copper tube. Okay, well as far as the steel is concerned, the only effect that it has is thermal expansion, right? Because this entire load P is completely going into the copper, right? Because that's what the problem says. Attain a formula for the increase in temperature that will cause all of the load to be carried by the copper tube. Okay, so the displacement and the steel is equal to just simply alpha of the steel times the change in temperature times the length. Now, the change in length for the copper, well, first of all, it thermally expands. So we have alpha C delta T L. But then we come back and we compress it. Okay, and again, all the load's going into the copper. So it's the force P times its length divided by E of copper and A of copper. Now you might be wondering here, why am I using the, the original length? Because, I mean, if it thermal expands, then it's, right, it's a little bit longer, so you have a little bit further to push back. Well, again, we're talking about such minor differences that uh, this would be a very safe assumption to assume that the original length and then this length after it thermally expands and we're trying to compress it back are the same. Very, very small differences. Okay, we also know that the steel and the copper displace exactly the same. Okay, right, they're, they're stuck together, basically. So, we have alpha S delta T L is equal to alpha C delta T L minus P L over E copper and A copper. Okay, we're looking for delta T in this particular problem. So a couple algebra steps and we get delta T is equal to P over EC, AC times alpha copper minus alpha steel. And that's it. That's our equation.